Hey guys, so I just thought I would pop on. I did not want to write this. Um, so some of you guys are starting tomorrow and like I know Megan had said she was nervous and scared. Um, that's totally normal. Like especially if you haven't done this before. I know the first time I did it, I was like, am I going to do it right? I'm going to screw it up. Like, you know, because it, like, it does kind of, it, ha it has that breakdown of like one hour within waking up and, and all of this stuff. And it's like, how do you remember all of those things? So... I love that there's those guidelines, but I also want you to, like, don't stress about it. Like, do your best and forget the rest. Like, you're committing to making changes. Um, it's simple to follow, but the scheduling's not always simple, right? So, um, sorry, my husband just texted me. So don't beat yourself up. Try not to stress about it. Just, like, it's it's okay. Like, um, I've done it, like, I don't know how many times now. I mean, I, I try to usually do it, like, at least twice a year. I usually do it like around spring and then around fall, but you can do it really monthly or quarterly. Quarterly is probably good. But anyways, um, I have done it so many different ways. I have done it where like I don't eat within an hour. I wait and I have my green tea and then I maybe eat breakfast around 10 and it still works. You have to follow the program. Um, I didn't touch on this with the tips the other day, um, you can do it however however you want, but if you have a sensitivity to beans, like if you have beans and you tend to get gassy or bloated or things like that, then I would steer clear of the hummus. I'm sorry that I'm just now telling you this if you've already went to the store. But for me personally, like if I have things like broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, um, uh, hummus, those are all things that are going to make me more bloated. So if you're wanting to like be less bloated when we finish this, then I would avoid those things. You don't have to, but just know you may be gassier and you may be more bloated, right? So what I do for the healthy fats, since I've done it so many times, I feel like this works the best for me to get the maximum results. And I know it sounds weird is I do coconut oil. Because if you've, if you've heard, maybe you haven't, you can go research it. Supposedly, coconut oil helps boost your metabolism. It helps you burn more calories. It gives you lots of energy. So for my healthy fats, when you look through the booklet, you'll see it says like a teaspoon of healthy fats. Um, I will just do that. So instead of, I think hummus was, it was like two tablespoons. I think avocado was like two tablespoons, something like that. You have to look through the book. Um, but I just opt for the teaspoon of coconut oil. So that just makes it so easy. I got like my veggie, I got my shake, and I got my fruit side. And then I just, I just eat the, um, the oil or sometimes I will do like, um, cucumbers and I'll do a drizzle of, um, olive oil on top of those cucumbers and then some seasonings, um, some pepper, sometimes a little salt. You're not really supposed to do salt. I don't think, but, um, and, and then you have to make sure you drink it, like drink the, the, the olive oil. Cause you need that, you need the healthy fats to get through this. Like your body's going to use them for full fuel. So I just wanted to share that if you do hummus and beans like make you gassy and fart and all of that stuff, then don't be surprised if that happens because it's totally going to happen. So opt for things that are going to be less gassy, um, your food. So, um, for example, like I used to always do the stir fry, which stir fry is amazing. But if you're doing things like broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, you're going to be more bloated. You're going to have more gassy gas and stuff like that. than if you opt for like, say I usually do the salad, that's my go-to. You can do whichever one you want. They're in there for the dinner options. But to me, that's easy. I can make like three days. It's like, you can make it with, with like spinach. You can make it with like your mixed greens, whatever you prefer. And then it has like, um, it has tomatoes and it has bell peppers. And I don't always do the sprouts. So that's one thing I don't always I can't find them. So I, I just leave the sprouts off. I'm sure there's a reason they're there, but I'm just being honest with you. Um, I, I have not used them. So, um, anyways, and then for the dressing, I just, I think it, give, it tells you in there, you get like a teaspoon of olive oil, but you can use free things. So like, um, uh, you can do red wine vinegar or white wine vinegar, and then some seasonings and things like that to kind of amp that up. So just remember that those things are free. So your vinegars, um, there's a whole section in there. I'm outside in my car, so I don't have my little booklet, but, um, don't, don't forget to do that. So like when you're making your salad, you're like, I don't want a dry salad. What am I going to do? You have the oils. Um, make sure you're measuring though. That's what it's so, so vital 
to really follow this plan. I know it's not, it doesn't seem like a ton of food, but you're getting the right nutrients. It's, it's low in calories, but it's not so low that you'll be miserable. You'll be starving. Um, you're going to, you're not going to lose muscle. You're going to burn fat. You're going to lose. Anyways, it's going to do all kinds of great things. So I'll share a video too of kind of like an overview of like the benefits of it because I really want you to understand that. Like see the vision of this isn't just about a number on the scale, although we, we all want that, right? We want our paints to fit better. Um, we want inches to go down, but we want to we wanna feel better. We want to feel more comfortable in our skin. We want our, uh, our skin to look better. Mine is like breaking out like crazy because I've been eating way too much sugar. And we want more energy. Like think about those things as you're starting. So tomorrow morning you're going to weigh, you're going to measure. Um, if you don't want to measure everything, just at least do your waist. I do my upper waist, my lower waist, my hips. Those are really the only three. I take some photos like from the front, like just selfies in the mirror and the side so that I can get an idea of where I started. And, um, and then also weigh the morning of. So you want to just always do it at the same time. So if you want to do it at night, you can. I think on an empty stomach without clothes on is better, in my opinion, because it's always going to be the same, right? You're always going to, like, yeah, anyway. <laughs> so, all right. So I'm going to hop off here. Um, I don't know if these videos are helpful or anything, but um, I just felt like I needed to share that, and I'm excited. I'm also nervous. I've done this a lot of times. It it takes willpower. It's, it's actually, I hate to say it's challenging, but... We can do hard things, right? We got this. We're going to do this together. We committed. We are people who have a relationship with the words that come out of our mouth, which means if we said we were going to do it, we're going to do it, right? And that is something that's very, very important to me, and that's something that I really strive to do. And so I know that you are in here, so you are one of those people too. You are someone who does what they say they're going to do, so you're going to do this thing. You're going to rock it. We're going to have amazing results. We're going to feel amazing after. So all right, I'm going to hop off here. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.